So in today's teardown episode, we're going to be playing with acid, big flaming buildings, and we have a massive Charizard that we're going to do some terrible things to it later in the episode. So stay tuned, hit the thumbs up button, and let's jump in. Now, this is my kind of map. Look at these giant jumps. Ah, ah, he said it. He said it. So are they actually, oh, they are different. I can see the one on the far right is a, a little bit of a bigger ramp. So we'll start here on the left. Uh, we got nice, fast cars ready to go. All right, let's do this. Uh, oh, no, we might have done that a little too fast. Uh-oh, this is going to hurt. And oh! <laughs> now we get to appreciate Teardown's uh, car crash physics. Um, yeah, we didn't make it down at all. Okay, I've got to treat this like the Beam and G car jump arena. So we don't want to, like, fly off this. We want to go about like that. Oh, this is still going to hurt. Uh, this is fine. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, I do have thrusters, too. Uh, let's do this stock first. Let's see what happens. Holy man. Wait. What are we jumping into? Is that a wall? In oh. Okay. I kind of thought we were going into a building or something. Uh, wait. Where does this lead? Uh-oh. This might just fall off the face of this earth. No. Uh, we're going to get caught by the lip. Hey, we survived. Nice. Wait. Huh. It actually shoots you back over here. So what if we were to do that with a thruster? All right. Oh, now that is what I'm talking about. This is super speed. I think we're tearing up the track and we. Oh! <laughs> now that was cool. Wait, what's on the, what's on the ground? Is there anything here? Or is this just, I guess, shoot you out into the abyss? Okay, we have to go for the big boy jump because I'm a big boy. All right, here we go. And oh, geez. And there it goes. All right, let's do the stock jump first. Why is it lagging on the way down? That was weird. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what kind of speed we get. Camera's like jittering. It's fine. And oh, wow. Uh, we basically cleared it. And boom. Ha <laughs> ha. I didn't realize that we lit the boxes on fire. And okay. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Diesel. Oh, hit the brakes. Oh, we're going to high center. Oh, okay. That's good. And let's go thrusters. Are we going to launch through this? Oh. The trailer was tearing itself apart. Oh, we lit the trailer on fire. Uh, that's a distance record, right? Damn. We are now officially flying. Uh, we're like a little asteroid. Um, well, that was certainly fun. Giant maps, everybody. A uh, very cool map. All right, so there seems to be a theme on the workshop as of recent, and it seems to be acid. So this is a proof of concept. This is like an acid pool here. And yeah, you should be able to drop stuff in it. And let's see what happens. Oh. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, it sounds like you're frying something. So we're also going to be checking out something called the acid gun. So I'm assuming it takes the properties of this and uh, I guess puts it in mobile form. Wait, is this a safe? This kind of looks like a safe. Hold on, let's drop this thing in here. So can this eat the whole safe? Let's go. We. That is actually really cool. I like this. It's not like uh, some of the other dissolving tools in the game. Like this one feels like it's legit melting, even though it's still doing it block by block, or uh, I guess you can say square by square. But it, I don't know, it's got a really satisfying effect. That's nice. Also, uh, kind of reminds me of fried chicken. So we're here in a map called Flammable Office Building. So this is kind of like one of those rescue scenario maps. Uh, we played with one of these uh, maybe about a month ago. And yeah, this is a, a flammable office building. You can catch it on fire. You're supposed to go in there and I guess rescue the people. Uh, here is our squadron of firefighters. Now, I wanted to test the acid gun here because I feel like that would be kind of fun. How does this work? Hold on, let's melt the police car first. <gasps> oh. Oh, it doesn't have the same sizzle, but it's still pretty good. So does the acid, wait. If I were to do it at the top floor, would it melt all the way down to the bottom? That's a good question. Because it kind of stays on the map for a while. Hold on. Wait. Us, we have to melt a person. Uh, I choose you. Oh. oh. That was cool. You guys like that? Why is the alarm going off? I didn't light it on fire. We don't use doors the normal way. We melt them. Oh, let's melt the top. There we go. Melt the hinges. Uh, this is fine. That's satisfying. Oh. Wait, that acid is totally going through. That's so good. Hold on, does it make it to the bottom floor is the question. This is a cool building. Uh, okay, keep going, keep going. Uh, let's follow it down. 
Like, you could legit stay on the roof and probably melt the whole building. Okay, where did this end up? It's dissipated now. I would say it went through about half the building. So, if you were to set up here and just kind of uh, slowly eat away. Also, we're going to reset this here in a minute and light it on fire because that's what this is supposed to be used as. Uh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> that is melting through. I wonder if we're going to hit something that's, I don't know, explosive. This looks like a generator up here. Let's melt that. I mean, acid isn't explosive, but if we hit something that, I don't know, triggers something else, then maybe that'll be a thing. Uh, this is really, really satisfying, though. I'm not going to lie. I don't think we've uh, accomplished our mission, though. We didn't destroy the tower with this. Now, once this thing becomes really, really powerful, oh, you know we're going to do some damage with it. But we probably uh, better light this on fire like it's intended to. Uh, I guess a meteor strike would be probably the best method. Why? 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 I just give it a second, folks. Oh, there it is. That didn't take long at all. And... Oh! oh! Okay, I hear the alarms now. Wow, you can hear it. Uh, they got like a little warning symbol there. It's like telling everybody to, to not walk down the, uh, I guess use the elevators. Follow me, everybody. All right, come on, boys and girls. We got to go. Uh, I don't know how fast they are. Hey, they're pretty fast. I feel like the AI is getting a little bit better. Okay, uh, let's get our, I guess we need to go find people in here. And then maybe try to put out some of the fire. Actually, it's use sledgehammer. Even though I could just use the door in a normal way. So the building's eventually, I think, gonna have some sort of a uh, sprinkler system. Uh, AC power, alarm silence. No, let's keep all that going there. Uh, event time enabled. This is like a full control panel. Oh yeah, our uh, our firefighter buddies are having some issues. All right, well I guess it's gonna be up to us to go up there and see what the fire looks like. Uh, Wait, <laughs> the stairwell's out because I melted it with acid. Hold on. Do we have a uh, elevator? Does this thing work? We're calling it. I feel like it's on the ground floor, is it not? Yeah, this was a mistake. I feel like we should reset this. All right, let's uh, maybe do a Davy Crockett here. Fire it up in the building. Give it a second. Oh, that was laggy. Okay, there we go. So we have a massive explosion in the building. Uh, hopefully there's some fire up there. Oh, I see fire coming down. Okay, can't confirm. I hear fire and I can see a little smoke up there. Uh, obviously the smoke alarms are going off. Uh, do I have a good... I thought I had a really good, uh... Oh, actually, I have a really good way to put out the fire. <laughs> I've got a gas can. Uh, we're not gonna tell the others to follow us because obviously they're stupid. Han, does this still work? I know you're not advised to use one of these during a... Oh, during a fire. You can see the fire at the top of the elevator shaft. Uh, uh, let's go floor. <laughs> I don't think we're making it to floor 13. Let's go maybe floor nine. Okay, here we go. Elevator is working. This is such a detailed building. Like, kudos to the creator here. Okay, that's not sounding good. Oh, no. Okay, we're going into the fire. Oh, that is frightening. How do you contain a fire like this? Burning above the elevator shaft. Hold on, let's try blowing this up here. Uh, there's no way I could keep up with all the fire. At this point, I, I think we just want to hope that the tower doesn't actually fall down or anything. Uh, come on. Keep trying to put it out. I'm trying to at least get one side of it under control here, which is proving to be a task and a half. All right, folks. Uh, I think there's only one way to do this. We're going to have to chop the tower down. Oh, geez, I'm falling. <laughs> Okay, well, we almost made it down to the first floor. Okay, so we need to make this building disappear. So we have a black hole gun. Let's go ahead and just fire a couple of these in here. This is fine. Uh, wait, how many of these can I fire? Uh, do they all grow or is it just one? Uh, it might be only a, a one can go at a time. So, all right, we fired one. There it goes. See, we're going to eliminate the fire and probably the rest of the tower, but it's fine. Uh, we might want to stand back for this. This is, this is okay. I also have my Thanos snap too. It's kind of disappeared. Oh, you can Thanos snap big portions of this building. It's made in chunks. Uh, I kind of want to do that too. Hold on, let's Thanos snap maybe the mid portion. Boom. Oh, that was a mistake. That was laggy. Okay, we just canceled the Thanos snap. That wasn't a good idea. You know, it's bad when the black hole lags less than the Thanos snap. Uh, so yeah, let's let it do its thing. Hey, Mr. Editor, play me some uh, nice classical music. Let's watch this all sped up. Oh, 
Wow, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. Uh, should we assist this? Hold on. We totally need to assist this real quick. Uh, let's just nuke it. This ought to be the best way to stop the fire. Which, by the way, the fire's still going. Like, it's unbelievable. But if we nuke the fire, see, there's no fire left anymore. It's just, oh, I might have been a little too close to that. Hey, we respawned. Look at that. We did it, boys. Oh, okay, the firefighter just shot up inside the uh, black hole. Oh, that's still going on. Well, the fire's out, so I would rate this job as success. Comment down below. Give me a score, one out of 10. All right, so we have a giant Charizard for our next uh, map here. Wait, does it have insides or is it hollow? Oh, that's a thick boy. All right, well, uh, I've got two options here. We could Thanos snap it, which might be fun. Is it one? Oh, it's only, uh, it's in sections. So you can see how like, I can do the head here. That's not even the full head. The ears don't go. What's this look like? Oh, I feel like this is the perfect size to do this. Is it, is it doing the thing? Oh, there it goes. Oh, that is cool looking. And there goes its head. Uh, it's good, but was it satisfying enough? Uh, actually, is it still spreading? Oh, <laughs> Charizard no longer has a head. <laughs> All right, uh, let's use the acid gun real quick. Here we go. We'll just start spraying it in its face. Oh, man, it works so good. Oh, we can uh, do it on the neck area, and we'll just decapitate the Charizard with the acid. That sounds horrible. I'm pretty sure uh, YouTube's subtitles are going to look at that and go, wait, what did he say? <laughs> it's fine. Wait, the acid's not going all the way through. There's a spot here. What's up with this spot? Hold on. There's a spot on this side, too. That you're telling me I can't fully eat through the Charizard? I'm going to be uh, severely disappointed of it if I can't. Okay, can I melt through it with this? So it works if you cut through it with the laser. Oh, let's just laser its head off. Oh, that is brutal. <laughs> My bad. Oh, let's go up the body. Oh. Oh, this works. So I don't think it's exactly hollow. Like, there's pieces that are solid in here. Uh, it's kind of impressive. We're performing emergency surgery on the uh, Charizard. Yeah, like this tool can't get through certain spots. I, I don't, this doesn't make sense to me. Like, so would the acid get through here? No, there's definitely some solid parts on here. Uh, do we think we can make it fly? Hold on, is it a object that we can move? That's a good question. Let's get our physics gun. Oh, we can move Charizard. Uh, should we just attach balloons and let it be free? I think so. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna attach all the balloons in the world to Charizard and, and let it uh let it go free. It's fine. This is the point in time I really wish I had an auto clicker. This is taking forever. Come on, Charizard. Just fly. Go back to your people. You can hear stuff moving around. Uh so it's getting ready to fly. Now I could cheat and just, you know, up the lift power of the balloons. But I have the default balloon and I'm kinda curious how many balloons is it gonna take to make them fly. If not, we could just attach thrusters to it and watch it fly across the world. Which is kind of seeming like a good option, too. Not going to lie. Wow, I thought this was going to be graceful. This isn't graceful at all. Uh, okay, well, we might have to do something else here. Might need to assist it. Totally not shoving thrusters all over the bottom side of this. Uh, this is fine. Okay, those should all go there. All right, let's see if we can help it up a little bit. Ah, uh, is that enough? No, that is not even near enough. This thing is heavy. Okay, let's try again. Uh, no, we still have no lift here. This would have taken like a million balloons to do. All right, we got to increase the new thruster strength to uh, really, 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 really high levels. You've got to be kidding me. These thrusters are really high powered. What is it going to take? All right, I'm holding down the thruster strength menu. They're like this thing's got to go to like max in order to get this stupid thing to lift. All right, let's try this again. You gotta be, you know what? I know how to make this thing lift. We're gonna make it fly ourselves. Sometimes you just have to go in and do the manual work. Uh, so we're just gonna go. Uh, there, fly, take off Charizard. Uh-oh. Look, it's flying. Goodbye. Charizard. It just needed a little bit of assistance. Wait, that actually seems like it's working now. Uh, it's definitely carrying itself away. See, we set it free. We set it, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, 
we're gonna ignore that happened so i'm not really sure what we learned here today we learned that uh you can do some really horrifying things with acid and charizards uh so yeah i probably shouldn't do that ever again but here we go detonate and three two one boom all right we'll see you guys next time